Hi guys, welcome to another Henry Johnston Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a camcorder screen that you would see on a camcorder while it's recording. Before I start this tutorial I just want to apologize for not posting in about two months. It's because I've uh, had AP exams in May and I had a vacation in June so now I'm back here in July and I'm ready to make plenty of tutorials this summer. Okay, so let's get to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, After Effects, obviously. Uh, composition, new composition. Make sure that uh, the resolution is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. And uh, it doesn't matter how long it is, it just depends on whatever camcorder clip you're making. And make sure the backdrop is black. So click OK. And we are going to start out by creating the corner uh, lines that you see on the original right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the pen tool, make sure um, the fill is off, and you can turn off the fill by holding Alt and clicking until it has this red diagonal line across it. And for the stroke, this is exactly how I want it. Um, you, and if you and if the stroke is off, you just click on it and then choose a color. Make sure the color is white, and make sure it's 10 pixels. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, click here, and we're going to create a right angle line. It's This is not exactly how I want it yet, but I'll just change it up. Okay, so I'm just going to make it a little farther from that edge. And hold shift to make the line perfectly straight, because we want it to be perfectly straight. Um, Yeah, there we go. We hold shift and then just, yeah, it makes the line straight. And now we can perfectly duplicate um, this and make the same thing on all of these corners by just uh, inverting the scale. And by that I mean we're going to click on this and we're going to uh, do Control D or Command D if you have a Mac, which I do. And uh, press S for scale. And we're going to invade, invert. Sorry, what did I say invade? Um, Sorry, um, we're going to invert the x-axis scale and turn it to negative 100. And we are going to now uh, select both these layers by doing command click or shift click. And we are going to um, pre-compose this. Doesn't matter what the pre-composition for this one's called. And we're gonna click on this and duplicate this. And now we're gonna press S for scale again. And this time we are going to invert the y-axis scale. So, yeah, I, I unlinked it, by the way, the chain icon that was there. You gotta unlink it so one is 100 and one is negative 100. So now it's like this, and we've got these uh, perfectly distributed corners. Now we're gonna pre-compose these two now and uh, call it corners. So, yeah, just Call it by what it is, just so you don't get confused when you're working on this. And now we're going to go to Layer, New, Text. Uh, make sure the font is Arial, and make sure that the color is red, solid red. And make sure that the height is 72 pixels. Now we're going to click on this and type Rec. And we are going to use the Selection tool and drag it into the top right corner and make sure that's evenly spaced between the top and the right. So about there, that's good. Now you're going to uh, create the rec dot that you see like with a dot that keeps on beeping. And we're going to do that by going to this rectangle tool which is the shape tool for all the things. You hold Alt and you click until you get to the ellipse tool. And we are going to turn off the stroke by holding Alt and clicking until the red diagonal line crosses it so there's no stroke now and the fill we want it to be a red fill and now we are going to uh, in the center it's not we're not it's all not always going to be in the center but we just drag this to the size that we want it um, it's a little bigger than I want it uh, you can change it by going to scale and yeah and uh, just so it's easier to move around just in case, I, I do this for all my shape layers uh, because then it doesn't make things as complicated, is you uh, center the anchor point in your layer content and you do that by going to layer, transform, and center anchor point in layer content. <clears throat> so 
sorry. Um, now we are going to uh, zoom in a bit and drag this. Now just fit it up. Uh, no, I gotta keep on zooming in because if, and from this distance it um, it'll just like drag the shape out and it's not a perfect circle anymore. So now we're zoomed in and now I can drag this right here. Now go back to fitting it up to your screen. And now we are going to uh, rename this enter and call it uh, rec dot. That's my dog. Uh, she barks a lot. Um, all right, so I'm, we're now going to make it beep over and over again. We're going to do that by pressing T for opacity, keyframing, pressing that uh, clock icon, and going to 10 frames, pressing the keyframe button here to keep the same keyframe so it's staying completely the same. But in the next frame, it'll immediately disappear at 0%. And now we go to 20 frames, and we uh, go... Uh, here and we maintain the same thing. All right, sorry, just had a little bit of difficulties there for a second. Um, just had to take care of uh, my dog. So uh, now we can get back to uh, this. So we're gonna select all the keyframes here for the opacity of the rec dot, and we are going to Control C, go to the next frame, and Control V. Now we are going to select all this, Control C. Go to the next frame, like move your time indicator to the right after the last keyframe and control V. And just keep on doing exactly what I'm exactly what I was doing there before. And uh yeah, drag it there. And and there we go, there we've got that full beeping dot just keeps on beeping for 10 seconds. Well, it doesn't matter how long your video is, but if you keep on doing that for the length of your composition, it'll, yeah. So we've got the rec dot now, and now we're going to uh, work on the uh, time code, and we're gonna do that by going to layer, new, solid. Uh, it doesn't matter what the solid's called, we'll change it. Um, go to effect, text, and numbers. Make the font Arial. Make sure the direction is horizontal and the alignment is to the left. And press OK. Uh, turn off proportional spacing. Make the fill white. And make the f type um, a uh, time code uh, bracket 30. And there we go. Um, we're, it's not entirely done yet. Um, we now change the size here to 88, and we're going to now center this between the rec and the top left corner. A little higher. There we go. All we've got left to do now is the battery. So, Let's call this time code. Enter time code. And we're going to do this by uh, going to the shape layer uh, tool and uh, holding alt and clicking until we get to the rectangle tool. And we're going to turn off the fill for this by holding alt and clicking and make the stroke white, but it's not going to be 10 pixels, it's going to be five pixels. So now we will drag and make this rectangular shape of a battery and we are going to deselect that and we're going to make the stub end of the battery. I'm not sure what the stub end of the battery is called this this part. Um, But yeah, there you go, there's the end of the battery that you get. And now we're going to uh, add a little battery 
uh, points in the center, and we're gonna zoom in just so we can get it, um, just so we have like finer detail. And uh, go to the rectangle tool, turn up the stroke by alt clicking until it's the red diagonal line. Click on the fill and make the fill white. And now we are going to uh, drag and make these tiny rectangular bars. And we're going to keep on duplicating this. Hold shift when you're moving it horizontally so it stays perfectly straight. Uh, duplicate these two now by doing control D. And move them, hold shift. Now select all those by doing click and shift to the very bottom and control D and hold shift and keep this here. I think this can this can fit about two more rectangles, so I'm gonna uh, click on shape layer ten and shape layer nine by doing control click and I'm gonna duplicate those. Oh, that was a stupid mistake. Um, it's, uh, which one is that one? Oh, it's eight, sorry. Um, so you do shape layer 10 and you control click on shape layer eight and you duplicate it and you click on this, hold shift. Oh, it's a little big, Never mind. We'll just make the battery not completely full. And delete this, so we've got a partially empty battery. And we're now going to combine all of this, make it a pre-composition, and call it battery. And we're now going to fit it. And yeah, I mean, if you want to make it a full battery, you just change up the size of the uh, rectangular bars inside the battery. I just trying to make this tutorial as quick as possible. So here you go, this is how you make a uh, camcorder screen and make it look like um, it's a recording camcorder. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time for a tutorial that will be soon.